it actually turned out a little better than I expected. Uh, they always do. That's one of the cool things about working in the shop is that, you know, you, you see it throughout the whole progress and, and, and the whole process. And, you know, when, when we're at the pin router or some other machine, you know, just cutting wood, all you see is just sawdust. And, you know, and things slowly start to take shape. And, and once it gets to the paint level, then it really starts to open up. It's a, it's a fun process. You know, not a lot of people get to, get to see it from start to finish. And, and we see it every day. So, you know, sometimes I find myself not really paying too much attention to it uh, until we get to do our own projects. And then I'm like, where is it? You know, for this year at NAM 2019, what I've decided to do is a hybrid between a 55 and a 59 duo jet. This actually has the 54 perimeter headstock, script inlay. It actually has curly maple inlay. The wiring is from 55. I, I like the tone pots. This actually has the same pickups I used last year, the Broadtrons. Um, these are, I'm really liking these pickups. They, they just have a little bit extra than the Filtertrons do. So we just have an ebony fingerboard, the cloud inlay, on the back, I did a dark tobacco with a curly maple stringer running all down the body and the neck. Curly maple binding all the way around. I like to call this just a workhorse. It's just, it's gonna get the job done and do it well. Um, not a big, not a big flashy guy. I don't need sparkles and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we are well known for that, but this is, this is right up my alley right here. One of the other things I did do to this while I was building it is the body. The body does have the chambering that all duo jets have, but it, the chambering does not go as deep. So there's more wood. Uh, the top actually is a solid maple top as well. Bridge is mounted direct to the top. And in lieu of the standard extensions that we do, normally our extensions you know, or, or lift it up above the body a little bit. What we did here is we, we lowered the neck down, make it playability a little bit better, and actually coupled the neck to the top. So there is no gap under the extension. So you just have much better, much better coupling throughout everything on the guitar, hopefully for much better solid sound. I had probably three or four different ideas uh, that I started with and just from, from wood selection and you know, I, I had a couple of ideas that turned out not to be great ideas. Just wasn't really what I was looking for. And, and so I kind of bounced around a little bit in the beginning. And I just decided to go just, just simple. Just simple. This is pretty much a workhorse guitar. Um, you know, it, it, I wanted something functional. I wanted something that was just going to work, is going to sound amazing, is going to do its job without any complaints. And, and so that's why I went with this basic style. Just wanted black, I wanted it clean. You know, the, the typical tobacco back and sides. Um, you know, I dressed it up a little bit with the, with the curly maple binding and, and I think it really stands out against the black. It, it, I think it looks great. Uh, you know, I'd love to take it home and check it out for a while. If they, I don't know how Steve would feel about that, but. <laughs>